Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you a pinstripe bowl game preview between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Syracuse Orange. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Now let's look at the Mountaineers in this matchup. The versatility of Tavon Austin is vital in this game for West Virginia. I love the way they use him around the formation and also in the backfield as a running back. He brings that explosive big play element to their offense. And Geno Smith is clearly the number one quarterback in this upcoming draft. And if he wants to go out with a bang and a bold victory for the Mountaineers, he and that offense should show some continued patience on every drive. Long sustained drives should help a defense that continues to struggle with giving up the big play. Now defensively, the Mountaineers defensive line play will be critical in this ball game. You look at Ryan Nassib as a see it throw it type of quarterback. Very talented, but he's a see it throw it type of guy. So getting your hands up at the line of scrimmage can disrupt the timing in the passing game, which also could result into some turnovers off of tip passes. And also the defense have to utilize different combo zones, such as quarter, quarter, half, or maybe cover two man to help yourself on the back end and give Ryan Nassib different post snap looks. So look for these guys to switch up their zones, switch up their coverages to give themselves a chance defensively. Now let's move over to Syracuse in this ball game. And I like the arm of Ryan Nassib. This guy can definitely make all of the throws. And when you look at a guy that can make all the throws, every quadrant of the field he can attack and just opens up their passing game even more. Now one underrated aspect of their passing game is how effective the running backs are catching the ball out of the backfield. Jerome Smith, Prince Tyson Gully, those guys can definitely have some success winning the one-on-one -on -one matchups on those option routes versus the linebackers of West Virginia. So look for them to utilize the backs more in the passing game this week. And defensively, you must protect the hashes versus West Virginia and flush Geno Smith to one side of the football field. That's how you give yourself a chance to knock off West Virginia's passing attack. And don't be afraid to send extra at Smith. For example, use various zone blitzes or delayed interior pressure. I think that can be effective versus his passing attack of the Mountaineers. Geno Smith is the number one quarterback, like I said before, in my opinion, in this draft. Coming out 6'3", 220 pounds, tremendous leadership skills and shows exceptional accuracy. So when you look at a quarterback that can, one, make all the throws, and two, make the accurate throw, you have to like that about him. What he has to improve on is getting rid of the football quicker when he sees something that he doesn't like. He can't hold on to the football that long at the next level. Otherwise, it could turn into interceptions. Now, Ryan Nassib is a guy that has a powerful arm. See it, throw a type of quarterback. Sometimes that's a good thing. But if you notice his motion, he has that Andrew Luck type of motion, which is not wasted. He gets the football out quick. He can drive the football to the sidelines. I like what I see out this guy. Maybe one of the top five quarterbacks taken in this year's draft. You want to talk about true campus legend, you have to talk about Major Harris, one of the best players in college football history. In 1988, this guy finished fifth in the Heisman Trophy voting, also racked up the East Coast Conference, East Coast Athletic Conference Player of the Year, also won that in 89, and also in 1989, finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting, was a consensus All-American College Football Hall of Famer, wrapped up his Mountaineer career with over 7,300 total yards of offense and arguably one of the best quarterbacks in Syracuse Orange history. You look at Don McPherson, 84 to 87. I mean, this guy did everything for Syracuse, won the Maxwell Award. Davey O'Brien finished second in the Heisman Trophy in 1987, was a tremendous leader on those Syracuse Orange teams and had a flair for the dramatics. I like Syracuse in this ball game. When you look at a team that caught fire the latter part of the season, it was Syracuse. Offensively, they spread you out and they attack the individual matchups in the passing game, but also creates creases for the running backs. And they have a lot of explosive backs that actually go four deep in the backfield. Plus, their defense does just enough to get teams off the field. And anytime you have to look at a defense to win a game, you have to take a team that's playing opposite of West Virginia. So I like the Orange to walk away the 2012 Pinstripe Bowl champions.